Hey guys, Keon here from the Rocky Hideout, and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 best shiny Pokemon that you can get in Generation 2. That means for most people, Gold, Silver, and Crystal versions, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Hard Gold and Soul Silver remakes. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Number 10. So first up on this shiny list, we have Ampharos, or you can pronounce it Ampharos. Marie Bandit's evolutionary line is one of my favorite Pokemon during second gen, and I love its color, it's yellow, pink, then yellow again. What's cool is that you can encounter Marie really early into your second gen playthrough. If you end up shiny hunting it, both Marie and Ampharos turn pink versus their standard yellow color. Flaffy just stays pink, but it has a different color for the orb on its tail. This is one of the coolest Pokemon designs in Gen 2, and it's worth shiny hunting if you're doing a badge quest, or simply just trying to find the shiny Pokemon that you're hunting as a target. Not only is the typing I think really good, but I think everyone loves Mareep, Flaffy, and Ampharos. It's one of the coolest Pokemon that I can think of off the top of my head, and I highly suggest hunting it for that sweet pink color scheme that it has. Number 9. Number 9 on this list would have to easily be Wooper and Quagsire. I'd say it once, and I'll say it again, but pink shiny Pokemon have the best color scheme and designs. Having a pink Wooper or a pink Quagsire is so nice. The pink is not too bright and really nice on hue and saturation, making a really nice pink color. Not only that, but you can find Woopers around the region at any point in time during your playthrough, so having the accessibility of encountering this Pokemon is really nice, and that means less work trying to find it and more work trying to encounter it in Johto. Not only that, but having a Quagsire with the unaware ability and shiny would be a huge plus. Competitively, Quagsire is in the gray area and can be as good as you make it. Having a shiny competitive Quagsire that can show off in battle is honestly a flex and one of my favorite Pokemon to hunt during this generation. And that's why it comes to the number 9 spot for this list. Number 8. Number 8, you might hate me, but it's another pink shiny Pokemon. A lot of pink shinies today, am I right? But for real, number 8 on this list is Sneasel. After seeing that Lucario movie, Sneasel and Weavile have been one of my favorite Pokemon ever since. Since this is a Gen 2 list, we're only going to be covering Sneasel and not Weavile. The shiny version of Sneasel is almost as hot pink with yellow feathers instead of the standard red. The yellow feathers I don't vibe with because it contrasts too hard, but overall it's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like the fact that this shiny is actually pretty hard to get, and during my Soul Silver playthrough I found it by chance and I was so happy. Just having a really beautiful shiny Sneasel makes it all worthwhile the hours that went into accidentally finding it. Overall, the designs of Sneasel is awesome. Dark types are so cool, so seeing a bright pink version of a dark type like Sneasel like, cements itself onto this list. It has this insane contrast. It's like listening to um, a sad song, but the beat is upbeat. And if you haven't found one um, in, in reference to Sneasel, try hunting it. You won't be disappointed. Number 7. Number 7 on this list is Teddy Ursa and Erosane. I don't like that many green shinies, and honestly I try to avoid them like the Black Plague, but occasionally I'll find myself wanting or hunting for one. And Teddy Ursa and Erosane are one of those Pokemon. Even though they have a weird light bobbing green color, they're still pretty cool because it's a green bear. We have black bears, brown bears, heck, we even have polar bears. They're white, but have you ever seen a green bear? No. <laughs> and honestly, that is enough for me to want to hunt this. But I have another reason too. It may not be the strongest Pokemon ever, but the designs are cool and honestly the green color will grow on you. It's super awesome and worth hunting if you like green shinies, or just like this Pokemon species. I think it's underrated because not a lot of people talk about these mods or like or like them much, so I'm happy to bring it onto the list. I encourage everyone to hunt for a shiny Teddy Ursa or, or an Urusang. They're pretty sweet. Number 6. Number 6 is a pretty iconic Pokemon. The only reason I'm not putting it in the number 1 spot is because I have something better in that spot. But for the number 6 spot, we have Smeargle. Smeargle is already a popular Pokemon due to its competitive capabilities and going through the region with them. But if you happen to find yourself shiny hunting, check out the Smeargle hunt. Smeargle gets a new look with this peach, almost golden-ish overcoat with red color for the tail and the paw print that it has on the back, uh, which is red versus the standard green tail with the light body and brown markings. Shiny Smeargle actually looks really, really pretty cool, and I personally never really like Smeargle, but I feel like I should hunt it. Because every great trainer has a spear bowl, and it's an added plus if you can find a shiny. And honestly, I think that's pretty sick as fuck. 
It just looks so nice, and I want to hunt it so bad. Not only is his shiny pretty cool, but it has some new sketch, which makes Smeargle super customizable when it comes to battling, which shows off its prowess and its worth as a Pokemon. Number 5. On this top 10 list, we have Crobat, ranking at the number 5 spot. Crobat has a really cool shiny, it has this light pink color around its body with this green coloring for the webbing of its wing. Crobat is one of my favorite Pokemon, and is a shiny I wouldn't mind hunting for Generation 2. The earlier stage of Crobat, Zubat and Golbat, had this weird green shiny color palette, but it's worth it because the final evolution, Crobat, has one of the coolest colors for one, not only a shiny Pokemon, but two, a color swap that's dramatic and change compared to its pre-evolutions. Any pink shinies are always good, so you have that going for you, and the contrast between the Zubat and green that it used to be is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that you can encounter Zubat pretty early into your playthrough makes Crobat not a bad Pokemon at all, especially if you're doing a shiny run or a badge quest. It's a really good shiny, and that's why it comes into the number 5 spot onto this list. Number 4. Number 4 for this list is Steelix. Steelix shiny is pretty awesome, it's literally made out of gold. It's one of the coolest shinies I've seen, and I noticed a lot of rock and ground type Pokemon have this yellow or gold like color scheme for the shiny variants. Steelix is one of my favorite Pokemon, even though you can encounter Steelix later on in the game, and I think the metal coat is what, mid game? But getting an Onyx overall is relatively easy to find and catch. Since Gen 2 has both Steelix and Onyx, you can hunt either or, whichever one you fancy. You can get a gold Steelix, I believe, from Victory Road, and you can find Onyx in any cave, really, and its shiny is also this golden color as well. It's such a good Pokemon, I can't emphasize how much this shiny is, is in terms of like worth and like how cool it is. It's one of the coolest shinies out there because it looks like Onyx or Steelix is made out of other materials. It's as if they ate so much gold that they ended up becoming gold. Steelix and Onyx, I think, are fan favorites due to Brock having one in the anime, and I think it's fitting for this Gen 2 list. Number 3. Fortress comes into the number 3 spot on this Gen 2 shiny list. Just like Steelix, this Pokemon is gold for its shiny variant. It's one of my favorite bug types with having a dual type as Steel, so it makes sense when seeing a shiny variant would be gold. To me, Steel is made from smelted iron, so it fits a thematic because gold is an ore, just like iron, so it fits well. If you're ever shiny hunting for a Pokemon on your team for Gen 2, catch a Pineco and evolve it into a Fortress. It has such a cool design, a pretty solid color palette, and I think it's worth the hours of hunting to make a full shiny team, or just to get it for your team, or, you know, their PC box. Um, in this generation, Fortress is a premier rapid spinner if you like playing competitive, and if you want uh, to build a good set for your Fortress, definitely try hunting and training one. It's a cool and underrated Pokemon, and I believe it deserves more recognition. Number 2. Swinub has to be such a unique Pokemon in my eyes. It's like a woolly pig, kind of like a woolly mammoth. It has a pretty cool shiny palette and a cool evolution with Pilot Swine. Most of the time, I don't like bright shinies. I'm not too much of a fan of Pilot Swine, but I think it's an interesting color swap. It kind of grew on me even though I have some issues with it. Swine Up, on the other hand, has the coolest color palette for its shiny variant and the evolutionary line. This is dark green like turquoise color for its fur with dark stripes. And honestly, it's one of my favorite shiny Pokemon. I love ice types, and with the introduction to Swine Up in Generation 2, I think shiny hunting became pretty interesting. I know a lot of people would say they're a cool Pokemon to shiny hunt in Generation 2 compared to Swine Up, but hear me out. It's a unique typing, access to a lot of ice and ground type moves, which are pretty good, and the colored palette isn't half as bad compared to something like Espeon or even like a Houndoom. It's sweet, and I'm adding it into the list for the number 2 spot. Number one. Number one is a staple Pokemon for me, and it's Scizor, coming into the number one spot. Scizor is my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. I think more so than Espeon, Ombreon, to be honest, and those were my starters. The red sleek design is slick, and its shiny variant turns into turns into a pretty cool color. I'm not too keen on green shinies, like I said multiple times before, because it kind of reminds me of the green color of the puke emoji, so I stay away from them. But there are some green shinies that do look really nice though, like Teddy Ursa and now Scizor. Also a pretty cool thing about Scizor that I'm not too sure the average viewer would know, but if you were to transfer a shiny Scizor from Pokemon Coliseum, 
and I believe uh, Pokemon X to Yellow Darkness as well. Scissor trades its green coat for a gold one, and I think that's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Knowing that a Pokemon can have two shinies between two different games, I think is insane, and both colors make Scissor look awesome. Green is like an homage to Scyther, and the gold looks like royalty, just from the design and the aesthetics, if you know what I'm saying. Scizor is such a good shiny hunt. You'll need to hunt Scyther first, but trade, and then get the Scizor. It's going to be sweet. Uh, kind of time consuming, but pretty nice. I used to trade a lot of Scizors to people over Wonder Trade and Sun and Moon, and honestly, I love this Pokemon. It's the best Pokemon I think that you can travel through Johto with, because of the dual typing. Steel and Bug is so strong as long as you're not getting fucked by a fire type. But it comes into my number one spot for the shiny Pokemon list that you can get in Generation 2. And if you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and turn the bell icons for more videos that I post. And if you agree with this video or disagree or have any opinions, make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. And also, let me know what your favorite shiny type Pokemon is. This is Keon of the Rocky Hideout, signing out.